I watch everyone and everybody. XQC, Ludwig, Atrioc, the Baus. I'm basically addicted to content, so I wanted to create a solution. And the solution was this Chrome extension. You choose a category, so Python, TypeScript, blah, blah, blah. In this case, I'll go with React. You just literally watch content. If you drink and drive every night, statistically, you're going to be better at it. Am I telling you to do <laughs> it? This is no, the only you what it is. podcast that works. And after a while of watching high quality, interesting J Schlatt content, we'll get a question. React components are written in CML. Hmm, what is the answer? It is JSX. Ba-bam! You get the idea. You watch content. Let's just do that again one more time. Bam, we get a question again, this time with a code snippet. That is cool. It's using passing data to compose blah, blah, blah. We'll say, I know it's props, but we'll say methods. Bam, props was really, methods is wrong. This Chrome extension was my latest coding project, but in the past five years, I have done a bunch of other coding projects. So let us start at day one, when I literally did not know how to code. In the beginning, I did not do any coding projects. Basically, my coding projects were doing courses and YouTube videos, JavaScript courses, React courses. I wasn't creating anything. Oh yeah, I lost literally almost two years to tutorials and courses. My first, very first coding project was a web scraper and some front ends. As my main job, we sell 3D characters on a bunch of websites. So CG Trader, Blender Marketplace, and UI8 but I wanted to see all the sales data in just one place. And I literally just use a web scraper to scrape all of the sales history. And then I created this very simple front end where I could see all the sales. We could, I could see the platform, basically which platform was the best seller. You show products, see which product was selling the most. Second coding project that I did was a Blender render script. It was made with Python, basically a Python script into Blender. And when you run it, it just created three folders. Each of these folders had a bunch of images. And basically at the end of it, you had a 360 render of a 3D file. Uh, this took me like 10 minutes to do myself manually. And I decided to spend like, I don't know, two days to automate this with codes. Because I'm a programmer and that's what we do. Third coding project I did was Portfolio.co. It was basically a full stack app I made with, I think, Next.js. You could basically log in with GitHub. Hopefully it works. Oh, it works. It still works. Create projects, read other people's projects, and you could talk to them in GitHub and just... I think it was a cool idea. It was my very first full stack app and it was just overall fun and... Oh, oh we got a quiz. Okay, let's answer the quiz. React applications. That? Yes, correct. Uh, the next coding project that I did was a Chrome plugin for my brother. But before we go to that, let's talk about this. Start of year four. That basically means that for the first four years of me learning to code, all I did was a bunch of tutorials and courses and only three coding projects. If that is something you can take away from this video, it's just basically don't repeat my mistake of doing YouTube courses and YouTube tutorials. Uh, but yeah, the next coding project is a Chrome plugin. Before, the YouTube titles were basically spoiling the result of the game. So I created, you can see, my brother. I actually have a brother, but he didn't want to show up on the cam. So basically, he was mad that you could see the titles and basically got spoiled. And after, had stars in instead of the score so you wouldn't get spoiled of the result simple chrome plugin you can see my brother very happy <laughs> he liked it he i think he still uses it so uh, the next coding project was a youtube progress bar i actually forgot about this one the idea was that it would just update every time i got a new subscriber it worked but i kind of just i don't know why but i didn't do it anymore. I don't know, but basically it worked. I did it for like two weeks. I also wanted to make a video about this. I didn't do it. The next coding project is a bit more serious. This is when I decided, hey, you're getting pretty good at this coding stuff. Why don't you try to get some money? And money did I try to get. I created a developer portfolio template. Uh, it's on my GitHub if you want to check it out. Uh, it's basically very simple. Hi, uh, the header part, 
the about me part, a portfolio section where you can show live code, see it live, and then a contact me. I then tried to sell this portfolio template on UI8. I tried to make it look really cool with all of this designs. And also a cool part was that you could customize the character itself. I did all of this work for them just to say, we're sorry, no. <laughs> But that was basically my very first experience of trying to get money for code, coding. From all the coding projects that I showed, this next project is the most, most important to me. And it is also the one that took the most time and energy. ReadyDeveloper.me Basically the same character I just showed, but this time it is in the browser and 3D. Customize it and you could choose poses, you could change the color of the hair or like this. You could change the t-shirt. You can do, basically you could customize the character literally inside the browser. So that was cool. And then you can of course export that image. You can use that somewhere if you want to. This project is important to me because one, it took really long to do, about two to three months. And second of all, because of this project, I got my very, very first freelancing job on a brand new Upwork account. And I was just, yeah, really proud of myself. If I had to go back to the very, very, very beginning of my coding project starts and things I did, what would have I done differently? So how I did coding projects is either I solved my own problem or inconvenience. The second idea is to think about money. So in my case, the freelance, thing portfolio or the SaaS, or you could contact local businesses and create them a landing page for free. And hopefully you get basically think about money. I know shallow, but and then the third one for fun, just do something that you think would be fun to do. So basically, if I went back to day one, a lot less tutorials and courses and a lot more coding projects, because I don't think I did enough coding projects. But if you're having coding problem ideas, then I might have the solution for you. Just code, lol. There are no tutorials, no courses, just coding projects. Chrome plugin has 11 milestones. And each milestone has a very small goal. For example, milestone three, updating pop-up. You have to go from this to this. And then there are hints that try to help you and nudge you in the right direction, but they don't reveal the answer. You have to still try to solve them yourself. But if you really, really can't solve the issue, then there's the reveal the final code. The Chrome plugin is completely free. You can give it a try, check it out. I did skip over some parts, so check out these two videos. They basically talk about how I got my very first freelancing job and then the actual coding journey, the first thousand days. Uh, I think these two videos are cool.